if you want to know how to make a Roblox roleplay name changer with the Roblox built-in filter, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my YouTube channel. In this tutorial we will be creating a roleplay name changer. So you get this GUI user interface on your screen if you press G or type slash name in chat and it will pop up and you can type a custom name in it. It will go through a Roblox filter on the server and it will process it and if it is like if it has like succeeded I'm not native English anyways. Um, so if it is succeeded it's gonna like pass it through the um, name tag and you will get that above your head so that's really cool if you're new to the channel make sure to like and subscribe turn on that notification bell so you get every video I upload even though I don't even upload that much you get my point if you like this video just honestly like it and if you don't like it dislike it it gives me honest feedback you know and if you want to become a member click the blue join button down below and that's basically everything I have to say for the tutorial so now we're gonna be actually creating the thing it's not hard to be honest so first of all add in a remote event in replicated storage just boom whoa remote event now you want to insert a script in server script service this is going to be the I don't know just a server name or something just just you can name it server name why not now now go into server storage add in a folder rename it to items well, we can do descendants then add in a billboard GUI and set always on top on and set the studs offset to 2. Now insert a text label and rename the billboard GUI to name tag. Oh my my bad. Name tag. And add a text label. All you want to do is just 1, 0, 1, 0 for the size. Enter. And now it's going to be like on the, the perfect middle. So now back row to the sprints, you want, you really want to just customize it the way you like it. And this shouldn't be too hard, you know. So you can do like, empty name. Um, yep, so, over here in the server script, you gotta do local filter, as it's the game, call on get service, text service. I'm gonna rename that to text service, to be honest. Okay. Alrighty. So now, uh, over here, you want to type game the player is the player added. First, going to be waiting for the player to join by saying game the player is the player added on connect function. Player. And now, since we've done that, my ends are always messed up. I really hate that. First of all, rename this to players. And over here, uh, local players is equals the game calling get service players. There you go. Now we can do player that character added. Comma connect function character and now I want you to do if not character dot head colon find first child name tag so let me explain over here we're waiting for the player over here we're waiting for the character to be added and now we're checking if you don't have a name tag we're gonna be inserting that we're gonna be doing that by local name tag is it the game calling get service server storage dot items dot name tag clone clone we're just gonna clone it and we're gonna do name tag dot parent as it's the character the head and we're gonna be immediately changing it to your player name just in case anything happens to it so name tag dot text label that text is it's the player dot name shouldn't be too hard right now we just need to edit some things so like um you won't see our humanoid name. So we can do that by character dot humanoid dot display distance type. It's equals to enum dot humanoid display distance type. It's a long word. Dot none. We're just gonna do none. You're not gonna see anything at all. And now we can do character dot humanoid dot name display distance is equal to zero. We're gonna be making sure nothing is visible. And that's an error. Sorry for that. Alrighty, so this is a little bit of a server script, so if you would join your game, you're going to notice you're going to get something above your head. Or you don't. 
Items is not a valid member of service. Okay. And that's why I'm mistake because it has not to be items but descendants. There you go. So now you can play our game. And we're going to notice we're going to get this weird text label above our head. As you can see, newbie derpy dev. And that's your name tag. And if you would zoom out. Oh, to be honest, you kind of want to like... There is a way to edit it. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste any of my time on that. Oh wait, it's max distance 25. Okay. So now you need to, you need to make a UI for this. So we're gonna be inserting that. It's a screen GUI. I'm gonna be naming that roleplay. Roleplay UI, why not? Roleplay name roleplay UI. Alrighty. So now I'm gonna insert a frame. We're gonna be customizing it. We're gonna set the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Enter. It's gonna be a little bit offset. Don't worry, I always say that. You can drag it. Doesn't matter. So you want to set the position to 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.5 comma 0. So it will be exactly in the center. And now we're gonna be customizing it by saying like this. So it's like a little bit big, but also not too big. We're just gonna add in a UI corner for the customization. Now. Um, what I need is <clears throat> I'm gonna be needing a, a text label one out and one comma zero comma zero comma fifty background transparency one and we're gonna be changing it to role play name just so people know what's on your screen you know alrighty so now what you want to do is you want to add in a text box not button text box okay there we go and we're gonna be setting that to a little bit of a weird position. So just do that 0.5 comma 0.5 and over here 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0 and we'll be exactly in the center. You can set the background transparency to 1, doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna be customizing it a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. I'm gonna actually set it a little bit down by putting a 6 instead of a 5 and there you go. And well what I'm what I will do is just add in a UI corner and make it a little bit of a grayer, darker color so people know I can put my name in here. Okay, so we're just going to do placeholder text name here. It's barely noticeable. There you go. Text color. So if I put this in. Okay. So it works, as you can see. So we're going to be setting the frame off. And we're going to be inserting a local script in here, in the text box. We're going to be typing local, never mind, we're not going to. We're going to be checking if anything changed. So we're going to do script.parent the changed connect function. And we're going to be doing if script.parent the text is other than nil, so if there is something in it, and script.parent the text is other than in case nothing, then we're going to be doing then we're going to be firing game dot replicated storage dot remote event. And we're going to be firing that to the server to then give it an argument RP name. So the script knows, okay, we're firing this only for RP name. And we're going to do script parent dot text. But if this is not the case and it's an inappropriate name, uh, we're going to be doing this. Boom, 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 boom. Yes. And we can do game dot players dot local player dot name. We will be firing your name if, if, if there's nothing, you know? Okay, so that's really cool already. And now you want to add in a script in starter character script, a local script. And we're going to be typing local UIS is the game. Colon get service. User input service. User input service. Yes, there we go. Now we can do UIS.inputbegun. If we begin, call and connect function k. If k that key code is equals equals to enum that key code. Let's do um, g. So as I said, if, that, if that's gonna be g, then and we're gonna be doing uh, game the players the player added. Nope, sorry, I'm very sorry. Uh, game the players that local player the player gui dot let's see role play name ui and they actually know it now that's a new roblox studio update nice 
and we're gonna be doing dot frame dot in uh, visible is extended not and we're gonna be copy pasting this line because it's really long there you go so that is uh, pretty easy you know so now over here in the server name we're gonna be doing that and we're gonna be doing uh, game that replicated storage that remote event called dot on server event call connect function X argument and new name and we're gonna be repeating wait until X that character so we need to find a player first then if argument is equals equals to RP name we're gonna be checking if the over here if the RP name has been fired so we're gonna be doing, uh, then then we can do local s can be e is equal to pcal function. There we go. And we're gonna be doing new name is equals to sex service colon filter string async. We're gonna be doing the new name on x dot user id. We're gonna be doing immediately get chat for user async x dot user id. There you go. So we're gonna be filtering it on your player ID and we're gonna be chatting that. So if not as then warn E and and now all you have to do is X that character that head that name tag the text label that text is equals to new name. There you go. That, that, that's basically it. But the thing is, it doesn't work in Roblox Studio, and that's a little bit of a problem. So let's hop in a real game. So I am now in my game. And as you can see, if I press G, it's going to open up. Name here, hello. And since it changes, it's going to filter that immediately. So if you would do this. One last thing we're going to do in your um, text box, instead of script apparent that changed, you want to do script the parent the text. Uh, text is it like focus lost or fo uh, focus lost? Call connect function, and now it's only going to trigger it once you're not uh, like typing anymore. So let's test that out in game. Here you can see I'm on my game now, and if I type hello and I click away, then it's going to trigger it out. So if I do newbie, boom. And if I type in a swear word, boom, it would hashtag it immediately. Let's see, boom. So if I do newbie again, I am now newbie. So this is the roleplay name changer. And um, if you did in fact do this video, make sure to like and subscribe. All I can say is that my name is newbie and I say peace out.